Hi, welcome to this tutorial. What are you on? I'm working on 6.0.5, so the fifth iteration after the official release. And this tutorial is about uh, looks and design, all about changing elements, uh, how can we change stuff. First things first, this is a very big screen. So that's all about wallpapers. Wallpapers can be changed. And we have here the applications. You can go this way. Desktop settings also possible. You can have this way of setting your wallpapers. Yeah, that's the normal XFCE way of changing a wallpaper. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is work with this variety button on down here. You can uh, also ch uh, select there what you want to see and choose the wallpaper selector by clicking on these elements down here. So that's possible too. Right mouse click, close it again. I've made a tutorial about the fun of uh, variety, meaning the variety is working with a supplier. He is supplying us wonderful wallpapers and it's coming from desktopper.co. So he's pushing right is getting wallpapers from there so after time every 10 minutes you'll get a new wallpaper in and the download limit is 500 megabytes so you'll get new stuff in without looking for it just leave your computer on and you'll have beautiful wallpapers to choose what i do is use my shortcut buttons um, where are my keyboard shortcuts my keyboard shortcuts are here application shortcut you really should read and check, check out what all these shortcuts are. So if righty minus N is going to work, what does it do? Alt right, so cancel, Alt to the right, Alt to the left, Alt to the left, Alt trash, it's gone, Alt F, it's a favorite, Alt P previous, Alt next, and next. So, and Alt uh, arrow up, Alt arrow up, and arrow down, resume and stop. So, to check it out, toggle pause and all that, um, the shortcut for VirtualBox, like so, Super F7 is for me VirtualBox. I don't think about it anymore. I just go to my buttons, Super F7. All right, so all, they're all hidden things. So, Super F1, what's that then? Okay. Oh yeah, somebody asked on the forum, we get this thing here, uh, how can I get rid of it? Just go with this one, continue. And continue that's it never see it again let's try so super f1 there you go and never ask your password again once you put the password in it will keep asking it so don't okay so I changed my wallpaper so now Eric what now maybe you don't like this if you don't like this it's also maybe a good thing start session and startup I don't want to start that up so it's called the plank. Now it won't start next time. Maybe you do like it and I say, fine, but I'll put it up here. How do I get to this menu? I go up here and then the right mouse click with control pressed. Control, keep pressing in, right mouse click, preferences. Let's change it to something nicer. Maybe let's put it first on the top like so and then click on here and then you can use the arrow keys and with the arrow keys we choose something we do like like maybe this one you can make it bigger too big is also possible i've set it to zoom out but maybe you don't like that so now it's zooming out kind of uh, mac feeling to it and um, for the rest I keep off, but uh, there are other possibilities here in tele height and so on to change if something annoys you. So do check it out where and what the settings are. So that's plank. Plank is up here or down here or down there or down here. So whatever you want, you just put it depending on where your bar is. Speaking of bars, maybe we should take a look at this thing here, down here. So we have this menu. The menu has been tuned already, has been made transparent. Let's take another wallpaper, Alt to the right, Alt to the right. Uh, this is not mine, this is Desktopper. Let's check. View at Desktopper, as you can see. 
it's not my choice and all you have to do is make an account create an account click on the button here and then you have this wallpaper on your Dropbox it's synced it's safe so okay let's keep this one we're talking about this here so it's tuned it's already uh, um, look it's looking transparent that's what I wanted to do go to an, into an lighter wallpaper so you could see the background so it looks through so you can set these things here oh sorry right mouse click here panel panel preferences properties that's where you need to go these are the panel preferences it's this one and that's the whisker menu that's the official name about etc but properties I've changed a lot of things for you already I've changed the icon you don't like the icon change it here put another icon inside you don't like the name change the name I've made a little space in between as you can see and I can entitle you don't like the title then the title is just the title voila just the icon it's all up to you it's down here and all these elements I've uh, activated or deactivated it from the official uh, settings so I've really made up some choices already for you so I decided how to to show you this whisker menu so do keep it um, do change it so if you don't like the small you go to normal and you'll see that things are getting a little bit bigger for, for me normal is already a bit too big what about very large voila a bit too large so small looks good for me category icon the same goes here very small maybe you like this better so here are the settings you change them background opacity aha that's the thing that provides this here so 74 let's keep it in mind before you change anything maybe you like this better this is the normal look well the background look anyway so up back to something like this 74 behavior switch categories by hovering that's a very neat one when you go over them it switches automatically I could not live without it but then who am I nothing happens position search entry next to panel does the search is here not up here I think it was like up here so I didn't like that position commands next to the search now this is here but that's up here so I wanted that to have down there now it's here so it's all up to you I said it you can change it that's my point of this tutorial these are all the programs that we have uh, installed for you even a mock shot what's a mock shot this little thing here when you click on it you can uh, take another picture here browse and put another picture inside little program but if we did not include it well then you get an error if you don't have the program so that's included and this is nothing uh, of interest so now we've talked about the whisker menu that's this thing okay how about these panels Eric can you move the panel preferences can you change the panel preferences sure you can first of all let's put this one with a control right mouse click so like so preferences back to maybe the bottom already because I have an idea why not unlock this panel take it and put it on top we really have to to try and move it all the way up so it's down here you have to take it it's strangely not enough strangely enough not here not here ah here we have it not here somewhere at some point you'll have luck and here it goes in in the left and the right you always are successful i figured out unlock panel and that's there so now the panel is here why not how will it look like this do you like it maybe you like it better just saw a tutorial which uh, I'm very grateful uh, for um, that you can also place the, the the menu vertical never really tried to do this so that's possible as well um, if you like this then you have to change some some elements as well change this around I saw in the tutorial and uh, move everything back down 
if you want this menu to be down here then you have to move this down there like so and then it's down there and the last thing was then change the get rid of these names and that's all done uh, oops in the menu so right mouse click panel right mouse click panel panel preferences we were there vertical is not really my my kind of thing so let's cut it back to horizontal output monitor one monitor two if you have two monitors or you can span over it uh, up to you anyway it's now locked what also interesting what i like also is this one you really need to well like it or not eh? so it's um it's a way of showing you all the possibilities that's the tutorial about of course very small indeed um, I don't know really what it was again so before you change take a look at the numbers and so you can set it back to what it was which I did not do um, I'm a bit amazed that it's to the left and not centered so it's horizontal span monocular lock automatically hide can be done as well intelligently or always don't reserve space no automatically increase size that's okay ah is it maybe no so this is the whole space it's taking up all the space what i wanted to show you guys is that you can also put it in the middle i don't know why it's not doing it now items let's close up no it does not do it so it stays here on the left side you can ah yeah you can actually place it on uh, in the middle and i think i know where i saw that it's not here horizontal mode that's good i put this good uh, where did i see it appearance so far no, no. All styles you can put in there where was it that I saw they can move it too bad I'm not gonna take up any more time looking for it uh, if I find it and I will find it but it's because it's possible to put this thing in the middle here which is uh, looking uh, looks quite uh, quite beautiful actually um, but it will not be in this tutorial let's move on so that's the panel let's make it a bit more to my liking so like so and that's okay close so we've discussed this one uh, be aware where you click where you click is what you get so this is the whisker menu this is a separator um, workspaces switcher and here we have the Bluetooth but the Bluetooth is part of another system and then really no we can get it yeah notification area area and uh, the name and the clock so this is all that okay so we have uh, reached the icons and the teams yep it's gonna be a little bit longer tutorial but it's gonna be all about design and where and what to change so how do we change this here hmm there are different ways to go there you can go this way don't forget your whole menu here there's also this way <coughs> uh, sorry this way uh, of course there are the menus here and here and here but i tend to go here because that's one stop and Control alt u sorry that's the volume control Control alt m m from mother mamma mia something like that so the m is for settings and we have here appearance and let's go and change some things so we have advaita advaita arc let's go over then arc you can see what happens here arc casablanca all these accents get the color arc blank dark i won't say everything i'll just go with my arrow down and you'll see what happens like so and then everything changes voila. okay paper 
So depending on the colors, on your mood, you can choose whatever accent in arc you want. And these are not mine, neither is this one. And we can just take a look at it, what is supplied with normal KFCE. This is the normal look from KFCE, but I rather look like the Horst 3180 arc theme. And we've done some variations on it with a little scripting. You can do so. And we can go for Arc Frolic Dark, for instance. It doesn't mind what color you take. Um, let's take, um, let's get it red. Let's go red on it. Then the icons, a lot of icons there. Um, Advaita is the, 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 the regular one. It's always installed. That's the arc one. Papyr papyrus, papyrus, really don't know. It's normal that you have to activate your systems in change. So put them quickly behind each other. If things do not work, don't be mad at me. Mocha is not for me. Um, Numix, Numix circle, Numix circle. Whoa. Um, what happened now just now? If you scroll here on your desktop, see what happens on top here? You, are, you have four desktops. So that's what happened, that's all. Numix circle light, Numix light. Scroll here, Pyrus. Really like the folders. Pyrus light, Savvy Arc. Let's go over them quickly. We know there is an issue with the Sardi Ghost Flexible. It does not provide images. Nothing to do with the Sardi icons, but I suppose everything to do with how um, Arch is treating these icons. So I'll decide later if I'm gonna keep them or delete them, if everything is going to be fixed in a few weeks time or not. And we'll evaluate then. I think I have enough work for now. Okay, all possibilities, now in Surfen. Once you know how icon themes work and you can create icons yourself, it's very easy to make new variations. It's all based on the Surfen icons and each time another um, directory another folder is used if you know what to change where to change it and where to put it and how to name it then you're good to go and everything in that regard is explained on ericdubois.be there's a lot of scripting involved why because one theme is 3000 folders I'm sorry icons 3000 icons to change so um, yeah I, I really you really need to brush up your Batch or your Linux uh, skills there because Batch is important to make the work for you. Make your computer work for you. That's the goal. All right, then the fonts. Maybe you like a font a little bit bigger. If uh, you're my age, you'll appreciate a little bit bigger font, but standard out of the box is a bit smaller. So it's up to you to decide how big you want it. Even if you want to show images on buttons or images in menus, if you want, don't want to have that, this is quite clean. Um, much cleaner maybe than the ones you want to show like so. So if you say, blah, I don't want all these icons. Well, voila, it's gone. And it's much neater. People who use uh, Budgie, so it's uh, one of the other desktop environments we'll tackle in phase three when we put Arch merged on your system and then budget on top of it you'll see that it's also a very clean system without any icons whatsoever and it looks clean it looks great doesn't need really an icon on this thing but again that's personal and since i am making icons i really should check that everything is in order so they are activated and on my end okay so Anything left? Yeah, we can set our desktop. Ooh, guys, not from me, but thank you, Variety. Okay, 
So this is how Variety functions. Yes. So the menus, desktop menus, if you want to change some things, not really here for anything. This maybe might be interesting for you that you see these buttons up there. If you like that kind of thing, that's down here. Um, okay, let's go back up. You have it's all zoomed and color, you, you know how these things work. File manager, notifications. I have reinstalled, some people will be very happy. Um, I have added in this um, next release, 6.1, 1st of November, we will have Office again. Yeah, LibreOffice is back in. I have um, told to myself, forget this limit of two gigabytes, put it in. And what I did, I what did I put in as well? This one, Omox. And Omox is quite interesting for making new kind of looks, a new kind of uh, uh, themes, and particularly for open box, not specially for um, maybe XFC. I haven't tried it per uh, personally, mind you. But in open box, I see beautiful results, and they're based on this one. All you have to do is change some colors around here, and you get a result. So it's quite uh, easy. Don't need to know any CSS coding and all that. Um, give it a try. We were in the panel. Panel one output, oh, maybe it's here. No, it's not here. Uh -huh. Same things. The same things as we before. As we saw down there, eh? up, up here now. <laughs> down there, up here. It sounds like Ahmed the dead terrorist. Preferred applications, window manager. Here are some tweaks, but I don't think it's in here. No. Yeah, it's also important to choose the border. And the border is this thing. So that's quite important if you want to change. I say, hey, I want to have a white thing here. Uh, there are lots of things here that you can choose from. That's just the border. Everything stays the same. Oh, that's a nice one as well. Oh yeah, why not? All right, let's change the thing. Let's change a bit. So, keyboard. Okay, focus window manager, Alt FM, height window. Take a look, take a look. Maybe you'll like some of the shortcuts. Oh yeah, I wanna know that. Okay, focus, not really an issue. The distance, window snapping, if you put something to the border, uh, how things will, will react to the border. That's here, but I wanted to show this one. That's a cute one. Window manager tweaks. I've tweaked everything for you, but you can go ahead and tweak some more. This is the compositor. So people asked about Compton. Compton is not used in XFC. Compton is used in i3 and OpenBox. So XFC, he has his own thing. And this is his thing. Compositor, enable or display. It's gone. Take a look at the shadow. Gone. There's a shadow again. So that's the compositor. And when I move it, it's transparent. Why is it transparent? Opacity of windows during move. Transparent. Opacity windows during resize. If you don't like all these glitter things, you can put it back off. And then it's back a standard XFCE and nothing special about it. Uh, opacity of window decorations. Don't like the window decorations. This is a little bit opaque. Um, if you want it less, more, it's up to you. So here are some interesting settings that I've preset already for you. Um, up to you to see what you like or what you dislike. Workspaces. I like my four workspaces. I really need them from time to time, but you can say no, 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 no. Just one is okay. So that's up to you. And the display, sometimes it's a bother. Um, if you have two monitors like I have, all I have to do is stop this mirror display, but I'm filming now, so it's good uh, to have one uh, screen to film. So click on here and you have two mirrors. That's the same applies in open box, guys. It's so simple. Forget X render, R render and all that. Go, don't go in terminal code, just launch this and say, Mirror displays, done. And move on to funnier stuff. What else? The mouse, the mouse theme is hidden down here. If you want the breathe theme or your left-handed L, 
H, left-handed, or you want to breeze obsidian, let's take a new one and uh, try that out. So that's that, that's a little bit hidden away, I would have would thought it would be here somewhere, uh, but no, it's here in XFCE, uh, it's all different in every system. Um, I think we're okay. Maybe one last thing, I see here this, the word software update. And yes, that's important to update our system. So, oh, it's just one thing, but anyway, it's one thing we can update. So all you have to do is click on the red thing and say apply. What's your password? Done, up to date. Last thing that's also important, that's um, checking that you also have, you have to remember there are two things. The general packages coming from Arch Linux and there's something special, an AUR or an Arch user repository is a community maintained repository or by a library. Huh? So it presents potential risk and problem. Not really, but yeah, uh, well, we trust people and, and if people put something wrong in there, okay, then, then okay, then it'll get flagged out of, um, uh, out of what was it called again? Well, it will be noticed that it's not okay and we'll know very uh, soon. Haven't had any trouble the last three years or so. So, enable AUR support, yes please, would be great. Check for updates from AUR, yeah, why not? And it's gonna build in the TMP. So, that's it. And now it's not going to check only the repositories, but also the other things we've installed. So these things are coming from AUR, repositories, AUR. So now we've made it more powerful than it used to be. So this setting, I have not done it um, out of the box. So it's up to you to decide whether you want to change this setting in here or that you do it via the terminal. Control Alt T, super and enter all the terminal and the rather shortcuts. So the terminal is quite important. You can reach it with different elements. And now you see me do something very strange. I'm updating. This is not an arch command. There are aliases inside your system to make my life and your life easier. For instance, this edition has the mirror alias, meaning get me the best uh, websites which are mirrors from uh, for Arch. So what are in my neighborhood the fastest servers to get my updates as fast as possible? So let's do that maybe first. Voilà. So this only shows I press apply and, and it's done. Eh? So that's okay. <laughs> But this is then the terminal and we should go into the terminal from time to time because we want to go to phase two and phase three and eventually phase four. So what happened, Eric? Well, uh, if you take a look at Nano, which is a little program to edit things, etc, Pacman, the mirror list. It's now 10, 9, 17, 11, the time is not correct, but it's indeed the 9th October and we have now a new system here. It's coming from Germany, then Poland, and I don't know where, but DE, probably German, German. So these are the servers that are the fastest in my neighborhood. I hope you get totally different servers because that would be not normal. Exit is Control X and we're out of there. So Nano, go to a file, open it, Control X, get out. Of course you can change stuff, but then you have to be pseudo nano and so on, and then you can change elements. You can overwrite it. Let's update. This alias I'm talking about is this one. P-K-S-Y-U, is that the word Y letter? P-K-S-Y-U, which in turn says, I don't wanna edit anything, I don't want to confirm anything, I just want to go eat and do your thing. So without my intervenience, without being uh, pressing any buttons from yes, no, yes, 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 no, yes, yes, no, no, yes, after uh, an update of several weeks on a holiday, 
you will have to install I don't know it was one gigabyte or something after a few weeks and you have to press all the time that you yes you want to update no no you don't want to edit so this is the trick to do it and just walk away and wait for everything to have uh, to be installed so the PAMAC AUR as you can see is a new version out so this is PAMAC and what's special about PAMAC um, we have also now something new we can also look at this thing and say hmm what kind of games are there uh, we can try them out you can click on size maybe whoa super tux card is a little bit big mega glassed map editor whatever battle for west not yeah another battle uh -huh. never ball so these things um it's entirely up to you he's compressing an image that's why it's, it's stopping so you can whoa, you can go ahead and take a look at um, whatever is in there if you're missing opera just click install get it apply you can't do both of them it's one of them that's that rules uh, because they're blocking he's blocking um, the the build let's say so you have to wait for the other one to stop don't want that office i made a little um announcements on google plus there is also wps office and it's not in here okay nice good to know so um but it is in here <laughs> of course eric so repositories and an aor is divided in two parties that's the one i was uh, making a picture about ah it's all up to date let's recheck and done we're up to date so that's easy and if we give him some time you'll see that he'll know that your system is up to date and he's white again whoa quite a long uh, tutorial i guess um, had fun making it that's probably why anyway um have we covered everything i think so you can go to appearance this way as well and here change anything you'd like um yeah i do think we covered everything oh no <laughs> maybe not a conky there are conkeys in there so whoops conky zen and maybe maybe just maybe you want to change things around i know what was this again so for instance we have this blue color and this lovely lady it would be maybe better if we had something orange like so we have to change the blue color in an orange look and then this picture would be awesome how do you do that check eric the world be there are lots of tutorials about gpic it's a little program and the program is in there somewhere accessories let's have a look my thing on graphics ah, graphics was the my first choice and I had to go to accessories so you can say let's take this color or that color or that color or that color or that color I'm pressing spacebar to sample color on the mouse pointer so and you decide which color you use copy paste the code and replace the blue and that's it it's all explained on Eric Dubois and then you have a beautiful system amaze me with your screenshots we're on Google Plus we're on Facebook enjoy